Now, there was a time when the emoji was the preserve of the young, but now these faces and symbols are so much part of modern culture that a company in London has advertised for an emoji translator. Alpha Patel explains. The emoji, a quick way to sum up an emotion. Perhaps you use two or three, or speak in just emoji. In one survey, 70% of 18 to 25 year olds said they prefer using emojis to express emotion rather than text. But emojis mean different things to different people, especially if you're from a different part of the world. This is an okay sign and it's widely used in Europe, but when you go to Brazil, I wouldn't advise to use that. Now, one company in London is looking for an emoji translator. The boss says she's meeting demand. There's definitely depth in emoji, and I believe it's going to evolve. Yes, we have over probably 1,800 emojis at the moment, and we're growing very fast. So I can see that the complexity emerging, and we will need some professional help. In France and in Europe, we just use the waving hand as hello or goodbye. In China, a waving hand emoji means we don't want to be friends. So it's not like saying goodbye, it's goodbye forever. In Spain, the halo emoji means angel or saint. It is a good thing. The halo emoji in China means devil. It's the exact opposite of angels or saints because we don't have that in China. OK, so in France, you can use the poo emo emoji. Um, to say good luck to your friends because we it's actually bad luck to say good luck so you would send the poo emoji to say good luck in Ireland the poo emoji just means what it says on the tin I certainly wouldn't be sending it to anyone to wish them good luck so beware the emoji can be an easy one-click text or result in more than you might have bargained for Alpa Battelle BBC London News